Welcome into the video. Today I'll be teaching you how to mirror your A23 screen to your TV and how to send a video right from the phone to the TV. Let's get into it. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne. In the video today, that's right, I'll be showing you how to mirror that screen to your TV or how to play a video right from your phone onto your TV. So I'll be showing you a few different methods on how to do this. Um, if you have a smart TV, I'm going to show you how to do it with a just smart TV in your phone with Wi-Fi. Um, if you don't have a smart TV, I'm going to show you how to do it with a Chromecast. Okay, so for the first method, uh, we're going to be mirroring exactly what's happening on the phone screen to the TV. So anything I do on the phone, you're going to be able to see that on the TV. Okay, so I'm going to show you two ways to do it. And what you'll need to do to make this work is either a smart TV that's connected to Wi-Fi or you will need a Chromecast. So those are the two different options that you would need to make this work. Now, a Chromecast you'd have to buy separately, obviously. Uh, a Chromecast would be if you just have a regular HD TV that doesn't have internet capability. Connect the Chromecast to the TV and it will allow you to mirror what's happening on your phone to the TV. So. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna slide the phone over to the left, just like this, and here I want you to be able to see exactly what's happening on the TV. First, I'm gonna show you how to do it with Smart View, and to get to Smart View, you're going to swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, and look for the Smart View button, and you're gonna tap on it, and this will show you all the available devices that you're able to connect to, okay? So uh, right now, this is the TV I wanna to connect to. It's my Samsung monitor. And I'm gonna tap on it and hit start now. And you can see my Samsung monitor on the screen right here. Um, it's gonna show a code. Uh, you'll see the code in the upper right corner, which is the 1377. I'm gonna hit accept. Give it a few seconds and then you'll see the phone on the TV. You'll see that pop up as well. It's gonna say, give it permission. I'm gonna grab my remote and just hit allow. And now that it has permission, the phone is mirrored to the TV and anything that I do on the phone screen is gonna show up. Now this is a great option if you're wanting to, for example, show a, a game that you're playing on the TV. Um, it's also a great option if you have like pictures from a trip and you're trying to just show like, hey, oh, these are the videos from the trip, these are the pictures, or hey, I want to show everyone this IG post, something hilarious on my phone, I want to show it on the TV. This is a great option for that. It's also great for demonstration if you're trying to teach someone how to do something on the phone, you'll have full access to the phone this way. You can also take the phone and rotate it. Let's open an app first. Um, that will rotate in landscape and so you can see by you turning the phone it will also um, Rotate on the screen as well. So this is the first um, way to do it Now again, this is for those that have a smart TV now when you're all done You're gonna see this pop up here and you'll need to tap on the arrows Oh, excuse me not the arrows tap on this little play icon and then you'll tap on the disconnect button to stop it from mirroring to the TV. So that is the first option. Now the next option is gonna be using the Google Home app. Now this is for those of you that don't have a smart TV at home. Um, you just have a regular HD TV. Again, you connect your Chromecast to the TV, go to the Play Store, and you're gonna just type in home in the search and look for this app, the Google Home app and you'll need to install this app. Now this is the app that will allow you to mirror your screen the same way we just did with the Smart View option. It'll allow you to mirror your screen using a Chromecast, and this will allow you to use it on any smart TV. So let's hit open, and we'll need to just walk through a couple of prompts just to get it set up. Allow notifications, hit OK. And we wanna to get to this screen. This is the main screen where you'll need to enable the screen mirroring. So now we're gonna swipe up, or excuse me, we're gonna tap on DIN TV. And at the bottom, you'll see a button that says cast my screen. 
tap on cast my screen, tap cast screen, start now. And if you give it a few seconds, you'll see the phone pop up on the TV. There we go. And now, just like the smart view option, anything I do on the phone is going to show up on the TV. So that's how you mirror the phone using a Chromecast. Now go to the Google Home app. So let's swipe up, swipe to the left, tap on Google Home, and then we can tap on stop mirroring. And then we're all done with it mirroring to the TV. So that's method one. Method one, again, is specifically just mirroring exactly what's happening on the phone, the TV. Now in the second method, and I think this is the method that most of you are looking for is, hey, I just wanna play a YouTube video from my phone on the TV, or I wanna play Netflix. I wanna pull up a Netflix video and I wanna play it on the TV. Well, this is method two, how you play that video from the phone to the TV. So what you'll need to do is first open up the video you'd like to play. So I'm gonna to go to YouTube. Now disclaimer, um, what I'm gonna show you with YouTube, this will work with uh, just about all the other video streaming apps. You, there's an icon you're gonna look for that you'll need to enable that will allow you to mirror it to the TV or excuse me, play that on the TV. So let's find a video to play, obviously one of my videos. So let's tap on this video here. Now um, once it opens up, Let's skip the ad and let's pause the video first. And at the top of the screen here, look for this icon here. This is the cast icon. The cast icon will bring up all of the options that you can select to play the video to. So for example, I can play this video to my Samsung monitor it's picking up my Samsung Smart TV downstairs. It's picking up my Chromecast. It's also picking up my Echo Show 15. So this option will allow you to play a video from your phone to uh, a few different devices. Um, now, disclaimer, you do need Wi-Fi. And I just wanna show you, if I turn off Wi-Fi, some of those options are gonna go away. Let's turn the Wi-Fi off. I'm gonna tap that button again. And now it's gonna look for devices I can connect to. And this is where things get tricky. So once again, you do need Wi-Fi to make this work. So if I swipe back down, turn the Wi-Fi on, give it a few seconds, you'll start to see all those options show up on the screen again. There we go. In fact, let's just close all together, hit the cast button. And you might need to even just close out Oh, there we go. So they're all popping up now. So again, uh, I'm going to select the Samsung monitor here. It's a smart monitor. And now you'll see YouTube pop up right here on the screen. And now I can have my video playing on the TV. In fact, let's pop, let's lower that volume. You can use the volume on the phone to lower the volume on the TV as well. There we go. Okay, so you can use the uh, volume on the phone to control the TV volume. And the, the best part about this is while that video is going to play on the TV, I can hit the home button here and I can still use my phone to do other things. Maybe I want to send a text message, make a call. Maybe I want to go on the internet. I can do all those different things while this video plays and you know, it's not going to affect anything. So that's why I love this option the most because I want to be able to use my phone while the video is playing. I don't want to be stuck because what I'm playing is taking over the screen. So that's why I'll say use this option if your goal is just to play a video to the TV. Use the first option if you're specifically trying to demonstrate something or show gameplay or show pictures from a trip, something like that, where you need to take over the phone screen. So just disclaiming kind of what's the best option to use for what you want to do. Now, when you're all done, you can swipe down from the top of the screen and you'll see the first option at the top will be the video playing right here. And if you take two fingers and you swipe down, it'll bring up some extra options. So now I can pause the video from here if I want. I can use this slider here to fast forward the video. And um, when I'm all done, I'm going to tap on the video 
And I wanna tap on that cast button again right here in the corner. And I can tap disconnect to stop the video from playing and everything will go back to normal. So those are um, the, the best options in terms of mirroring your screen to the TV or playing your phone on the TV. Now, one more thing I wanna cover because this question comes up a lot. Some of you may still be asking, why can't I just connect a cable to my phone to the TV? Well, here's the reason. This phone does not have MHL support, which means that you cannot directly connect a cable to the phone and then connect to your TV. Um, generally, only the higher end Samsung phones will have that capability. For example, the S22, S23, like phones like that, they will have support where you can connect uh, a cable from the phone right to the TV. But for this series, it does not have that support. So you have to either use, just to recap, the smart view option, or you've got to um, use the Google Home app to mirror your screen to the TV. All right. So I will have links below in the description of where you can purchase a Chromecast if you need one. Hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below if it was helpful. And also leave a comment if it was helpful. I always love to hear your feedback. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.